Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said, and I quote, somebody told a lie one day. They couched it in language. They said everything black was ugly and evil. Look in the dictionary at the synonyms for the word black. It's always something low, degrading, and sinister. Look at the word white. It's always something high, clean, and pure. But I want to get the language right. I want to get the language so right that everybody here will say, yes, I'm black, and I'm beautiful, and I'm proud of it, unquote. So I got to thinking about Dr. King's quote. Why would somebody go to such lengths as to change the lexicon? Why would they tell such a heinous lie? And it dawned on me for two reasons, both associated with two of the seven deadly sins. The first being greed, the second being envy. So you say, Brother Ty, what would they have to be envious of? They are envious of your melanin. So let's talk for two minutes about melanin. Consider some things if you would. Let's try and get up under our skin cause there's some things if you don't know, you should. Melanin, you see, is a primary cause. It's the balm that makes us so smooth. Without it, some folk break spiritual laws. Its absence makes some folk uncouth. Without it, your brain would completely shut down. No rhythm, no rhyme, no dance. Without black melanin, you couldn't hear a sound and your eyes could never glance. See, at the base of your brain is the locus ceruleus where sweet black melanin's contained. And the God of our fathers put plenty in us, but with others, he refrained. Your melanin is more than just pigment, you know. Your melanin controls your psyche. It's a gift your creator saw fit to bestow. And why LeBron jumps so high in those Nikes. It's why we run faster. It's why we jump higher. It's why we wrinkle less too. It's why we love stronger. It's why we pray longer. And why we forgive and bless you. You see, melanin enhances all circumstances. It's why we are so spiritual. The lack of it lances, makes evil advances, thinks linear, seldom spherical. Oh, but the black of the berry, the sweet of the juice, they crave tall, dark, and handsome. It's how we survive such physical abuse and why we've been held for ransom. So let nobody fool you. I'm here to school you. Your melanin is an asset. And many are they who, if had their way, would sit exactly where your assets. So cherish your blessing. Start right now confessing your love for your built-in tan. And thank God again for the skin you're in. Give him all the praise you can. Thank God again for your melanin. Pick your head up, cause you ain't got nothing to be ashamed of.